Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this morning, kind of getting out of here before work. Actually, it's supposed to be at work right now, but uh, yesterday I spent all day mowing. Well, you can tell I'm kind of sunburnt, but I got Fat Boy in here again. Uh, you haven't seen him. This is a little cat that we found in our back barn. Him and two of his brothers. Two of his brothers ran off. When I got older, but he kind of just hung around and he kind of comes in the shop when he wants to and leaves when he wants to. But I think he uh, lives up to his name. He's pretty chunky. But he'll probably be running out of here when we start working on the Bronco. But, uh, anyways, uh, mowed yesterday. It was really, really hot. Uh, mowed about five acres. And decided I just didn't want to be out here anymore, so I'm going to take a little time off work this morning, come out here, work on Bronco a bit, and then uh, hopefully get in and edit and upload before 9 o'clock, like last time I did this. So we'll see how it goes. I do got news though. Uh, we got ourselves a car hauler. I'll show you that right quick. Picked it up Saturday. I don't know if you can see it way back there. But that's uh that's our new uh new piece of equipment. It has a, it's a 18 foot dovetail, has a wooden deck, you know, just pull out ramps and pull out and put on. It has a winch that works. And uh the uh jack is pretty neat. There's a load geared so it doesn't it's really easy to turn but it I mean it, it's it doesn't feel like you're really cranking it down if that makes sense I don't know it's a it's a nice trailer it pulls really good we need to get two two tires that match the back tires because they're uh, not as tall but other than that everything else works has trailer brakes and lights so be a be good now if we need to take the body somewhere we can load it up on it or you know the frame or even somebody buys a Healy or if I trade the Healy we can load it up and haul it off but uh, anyways cat's yeah, still 11 on me he's a goober but anyways today uh, we turn around here and I kind of go over what, uh, what I plan to do. All right, I think first thing we need to do is take this bumper off. I uh, need to get in here and kind of knock that back. We didn't really get on this side very much at all last time. So we might try to get the front forks a little better in here. Of course in here. And I'm not sure. Okay, let's probably go to that plate right there. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know what these are. Won't mess with them just yet. But may slide our hand up underneath here and pull these motor mounts out. Or at least try to. And I know we said we try to pull the transmission today, but I said I don't got much time out here right now this morning. So uh, this may be uh, something we do. next time because looks like as soon as we do that this is gonna drop so we'll have to just the drive shaft here and just connect this one and then we can take might just take this whole thing out with a transfer case on the transmission. Other thing is, is I don't know where to put this. Uh, could put it on the bench, but then that take up the entirety of my bench. So, uh, uh, 
I really don't know where to put it. May have to uh, build a little box for it and stick it somewhere. I don't know. That's probably what we'll do though is uh, before we take the transmission out, take these drive shafts off the uh, rear and the one going to the front. And then uh, I think everything's disconnected up here. As in linkage wise. So I think all it is is just these two bolts there. We can just uh, get the cherry picker, pick that up. But like I said, I don't got enough time out here this morning to do that. So uh, we're gonna work on kind of getting the front a little bit more cleaned off. Uh, try to at least work our way to the motor mounts on top of these uh, spring perches, I guess you can call them. Get the, all those cleared up or cleaned up. And then I'll probably have to go into work because I'm already going to be getting in there late as it is. But let's uh, turn around here, get you set up, and uh, now he wants up there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, turn around here, get set up, and we'll uh, start cleaning and grinding as far as we can. May not be a, a long video today, but hopefully it'll be a productive one. Uh, might get out my uh, barrel sander thing from Eastwood and see how that does on the frame. Since we got a few flat pieces, maybe we can try it down on the further the frame rails on the tops of them and see how how it goes. But anyways, uh, let's get to work. All right, uh, got a problem. This one, the uh, nut is rounded off. And I can't even find the nut on this one. I don't know how it's in there. Feels kind of like it may be tried. That makes sense to be really drawn. Uh, hopefully it's not welded. And this one, the, uh, has like one of the body mount clips and all it does is spin in there so I think we're gonna get the grinder out and uh, try to cut the head of this bolt off here and under there and over there and then we can pull the bumper out hopefully at least knock the top off so it drop out but uh, let's get to uh, cutting
Okay, so that took way too much time, but uh, there's a bunch of junk in there. This, this thing just kept spinning in there, so I had to cut the bolt off. Other than that, they had it uh, welded on the bottom, which I was afraid was the case, so I had to cut those loose. But now we got access in here. Uh, may get the grinder again, kind of clean up the front forks a little bit, and uh, get in here pretty good. And we may try to do some motor mounts, take those out. Be rounded. Take those out and kind of clean up a little bit and uh, see what time it is because I need to be going into work here pretty soon. But let's uh, get to clean these off and see how nice we can make it look. I spent way too much time cleaning. Uh, I think we're gonna clean this area off and spray some paint on the top. Just because I have it really clean right now and uh, it's just kind of flash rusted between getting everything uh, situated in here and kind of taking stuff off. I did try to clean a few spots up and I think it worked all right. That uh, CT, this tool, they work really well and get it down to metal, especially I had to kind of clean the grease and grime off. So I'm thinking we're going to use this uh, wherever we can all along the frame. But I am going to pre paint just to keep the flash rusting to a minimum. So I think I'll do that right quick. And uh, after that, I may have to call it a day, but I'll bring it down here and kind of see what that, uh, see what that CT tool or Eastwood Contour CST tool did. I mean, it really, 
really shiny and I think that moves the rust out. Kind of try to knock some of that weld slag down. It worked to some extent. Looks pretty good through here. Kind of do the same, just kind of want to knock the welds back a little bit. And over here, which this needs to be cleaned, cleaned more, but I think it will uh, turn out pretty good. But yeah, we're going to paint this here, little section. I got junk down in there. Really need to get a hose and run through the frame rails. Dude, that kind of worried me. I had a bunch of gunk and I could still see stuff up there. So, next time we may, uh, may do a real short video, just power wash out everything in these rails and let it dry outside. Might be what we end up doing because I hate to get this all nice and neat and then have a bunch of junk still in there. Anyways, let's uh, clean this off and get some paint down and then uh, might have to call it a day because batteries are running out and I gotta get to work. This is just to help prevent flash rusting. Uh, I really want to do this in like lizard skin or uh, some kind of else of uh, like undercoating. But I just noticed when I brought it back out after kind of being humid outside for last month that it started to kind of flash rust from what we did last week. So uh, this may be taken back off or maybe I could paint over it. I'm not sure. I have to see what the uh, directions say for the uh, coating we put on it. But I might do a quick video this week just blasting the frame, frame rolls out with some uh, a little high pressure washer. And then uh, hopefully the big video this week will be disconnecting these drive shafts and pulling this whole thing up and putting it putting it somewhere i have no idea where to put it yet but nothing on that and hopefully uh we can get that done that way we have access to these inside rails and pull all the lines uh, i need to pull the motor mounts and get to those that bumper took way too long can't believe somebody welded the bottoms of them but uh anyways pull lines all the wiring that's still left get rid of all that and go from there but uh thank you for watching uh thank you all to all the new subscribers we're gonna like i said keep saying we're gonna try to move fast on the frame i know it kind of doesn't seem like it right now but i think after the fourth of july that's my i think after fourth of july uh we're gonna try to hit it pretty hard and really uh go through it and get it to the frame shop and see see what they can find out if anything hopefully everything i say i hope everything's good but i really don't want to say don't because that means my gaps are gonna be wrong anyways we'll figure that out later but uh yeah we'll uh keep on and hopefully Next week will be a better video and get a lot more done. But I just want to say thank you all again for watching. Uh, thank you all for clicking the my Amazon links down in the description. It does mean a lot. I know uh, a lot of people's clicked. If you click and buy something, I'll get a small commission. And uh, I could use any money I can get to throw into getting this uh, frame repaired. And I like to get it blasted. So doing all this sanding, I might call around and see. See if there's any in my area. I don't think there is, but uh, anyways, kind of talking out loud here, but thank y'all again, and uh, I'll see y'all next week.